Alright, I'm going to do one more instead before bed. And it just occurred to me how stupid I was being with our walking slash sprinting. Uh, we can just do that with an easy blend space. I didn't even think about that. So, in our animations, we're going to right-click, animation, blend space, one-dimensional. Select our skeleton. Call this one walk. Run. So, on the far left, we're going to have our idle. Middle is going to be our walk. And sprint's going to be on the right. So, as you can see, idle, walking animation, sprinting. So, maximum axis value is going to be 600. Change the name to player speed. And save it. So, I'm going to close that out. I'm going to go to our state machine. It's not what I meant. Our idle. Delete that. We're going to change it to our walk slash run. And plug it in. Now we need access to the player speed. So, if we go to our event graph. Let's get rid of all of that. And simply do get velocity and get the vector length. So let's get rid of our, well, let's make a new variable, call it player speed. Make it a float. And we're going to set it. Alright, let's go back to our state machine, delete that state, delete that state, change this name to idle, slash run, and delete these variables. Alright, now in our state machine, we need to plug in player speed, like so. Compile, save, let's test. Idle, walking, sprinting. Not the most of fluid. We, we need a animation for jumping and stuff like that. But it's just a little bit simpler. So we have our interpolation time. Let's try to change this to one, see what happens. That's way too slow. 0 0.2. little slow again, 0 0.1. So 0 0.15, and I think I'm just going to call it there. Yeah, a uh, tiny bit slower, 0 0.13, and I'll leave it. All right, so the interpolation time is pretty much for, well, has a description right here. So let's say we're going from zero to all the way to 600 and the snap of your fingers. It's going to take a little bit by the, for it to go from idle to the sprinting animation. There's going to be a little bit of a uh, build up until it reaches it to kind of give us the little bit of the effect we had before in the state machines with blending. So now we have that stored in one simple state and our event graph is much nicer so now that that's done i'm actually going to go to bed this time and i'll see you in the next one where we i think we're going to get into aiming so i'll see you then